Hi, my name is Angela. I also go by Swaha. Today is the first of about 40 videos that I'll be creating for free tips for people to help you keep sane for the holidays or any other time of the year. The reason that I'm doing this is that what I find that over my many years of experience is, is that most people are treating the holidays, especially this time of year, as a marathon and uh, they work themselves up into a frenzy and anxiety and sometimes dip themselves into a depression and they end up eating too much or they end up spending too much or they're miserable because they're not with family or they are with family or they have um, past addictions and old behaviors and old coping me mechanisms come up and all different kinds of things show up this time of year and so it is important to me to help you move through this time of year in more of a smoother and easier fashion and these techniques that I'm going to show you over the next 40 days are simple easy for anybody to learn and incorporate into your daily life I do this for a living I've been doing this for many years and most of the things I'm teaching you today are things I already have incorporated into my daily life over the last many years and they've helped me become healthier happier and holy so to begin with this first one that we're going to do today is called Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. Also, if you look it up, you're going to find it under many names. So, the first thing what we need to do is you simply take your right hand and you need your nose. That's it. So, you want to take your right hand and take your thumb, right thumb, and gently press it against your right nostril. And you inhale through your left nostril. Cover and hold with your ring finger and release the thumb and release the air out the right nostril and then you inhale through the right nostril cover it with the thumb and exhale out the left that is one full round of this breath inhale cover and hold with the ring finger and release the thumb and inhale through the right, cover and hold, and release out the left. To better see what I'm doing, I'm going to now turn my head from side to side. Just continue following along. Inhale through the left, cover and hold, and now you're going to release out the right. Inhale through the right, cover and hold, and now you're going to release out the left. Inhale through the left, cover and hold, and now you're going to release out the right. Inhale through the right, cover and hold, and now you're going to release out the left. Inhale through the left, cover and hold, and now release out the right. Inhale, Cover and hold, and release out the left. Keeping your eyes closed now, do this at your own comfortable pace. Inhale, cover and hold, and release out the right. Inhale, the left, right. Cover and hold, and release out the left. Inhale through the left, and release out the right. Inhale through the right, cover and hold, and release out the left. One more time, inhale through the left, cover and hold, and release out the right. Inhale to the left, excuse me, inhale to the right, cover and hold, and release out the left. Now keeping your eyes closed, gently bring your right hand down to your left, and just rest easily, breathing easily and normally. Nice inhales and exhales through the nose. Just staying quiet just for a moment here. Just notice any shifts or any changes 
in your physical body, in your mind. When you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. So, I ask of you, how did that feel for you? Did it feel comfortable? Did you notice any shifts? Did you notice any changes? What you should have noticed in that little bit, in that short period of time, is you should have noticed a simple calming effect overall in your mind and body. See, this breath in particular is very significant in that it helps us greatly, gives clarity, focus, and calmness all at once. You can use this breath anytime, day or night. The only time, the only rule I make is you don't use it while you're driving. But any other time of day is fine. What this breath does is that when you inhale through the left nostril, it basically goes up into the right side of the brain and clears out the right side of the brain. And then when you inhale through the right nostril, it clears out the left side of the brain. It creates a crisscross. And what this does is that in clearing out the brain, it naturally brings your level of anxiety or frustration or uh, even your depression, any type of issue you're having, even if you're in a frenzy, even if you're uh, craving something, this will help you calm you down and give you focus just in a matter of one minute. You know, you can do this as little as one minute on up to 11 minutes. I encourage you to use this breath anytime, day or night. You feeling tired, you feeling like you're frustrated, you feel like you got a deadline to meet or whatnot, turn away from that computer, turn around in your in your chair and simply just do, do, do this breath. Um, go around the corner into the bathroom and do this breath. Hide under your cubicle and do this breath. Um, you know, anytime, in your car, provided you're not driving, you know, do this breath. It will help any time. I'm serious about this. Whether you're frustrated about anything, if you're overspending and you find yourself in the mall, sit down and do this breath. Or go into the bathroom or go into your car and do this breath. If you um, find yourself um, wanting to, you're eating or craving foods that you shouldn't be eating, um, that are unhealthy for you, or you find yourself that you're overeating, stop for a moment, do this breath, it will bring clarity and calmness back into you, into your being. And so when we're calm and clear and focused, what happens is that we make better decisions. We're able to have clarity. We're able to have focus. And we're able to withstand or resist things that, we, that are not good for us. Okay? It, able, it enables us to move past those times when we're feeling frustrated or angry or upset. Okay? And in particular, um, if you are feeling like you're running a marathon this holiday season, I really encourage you to sit and do this breath. Do it every day. Do it as many times a day as you want to do it. Okay? You can do it when you first wake up in the morning. You can do it in the afternoon. You can do it in the evening. It's good to make it just a habit of this breath of doing it on a daily basis because over the course of each day of doing it, you will build um, a level of internal wellness, an internal level of calmness and clarity and focus that you will come to each day with more of this calmness, clarity and focus. And I know I keep repeating myself because it's I'm serious. You will get clarity, calmness and focus in any situation by simply doing this breath for as little as one minute. And you can do it for as long as 11 minutes. And the, and the thing is, is that I don't want you to end up like many people to where after the holidays, they don't want to go back to work. They're ready to take a vacation because they've worked themselves up into such a frenzy for so many different reasons over this time, this season, that by the time they're ready to go back to work, they're exhausted and they're tired and they want to just sleep or they want to go to the beach or they just want to relax. They just want to run away. And... Um, even though they may have had good times during the holiday season, okay? So we want to move this through this holiday season smoothly, effortlessly, with love and compassion in our heart, and the ability to share and be with one another. And even if we happen to be alone, understand that we're not alone. We are with ourselves, and ourself is a very important gift in this lifetime. We must treasure this life, and we must take care of this life. 
And in order to take care of this life, um, we have to be kind to ourselves and be generous to ourselves, not necessarily monetarily, but generous in the way that we love ourselves and taking care of ourselves and honoring who we are and, and that we do need to be taken care of. And the first person to learn how to take care of ourselves is us. No one else can really do it for us. We have to learn what we need. We have to learn what we want and learn how to stop in the moment and do what we need to do to take care of ourselves. So hopefully this tip today has been helpful. And um, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow because each and every day you'll have a new tip to look forward to. Feel free to contact me with any questions or emails. You can reach me at my website, www.theinfinitebackpack.com or you can reach me at info at theinfinitebackpack.com. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Happy holidays and have a great day. Be well.